There was a time in the lives of a lot of us as kids when the center of our social and entertainment world was the neighborhood movie theater. You'd go to the show and you'd see The Giant Claw or House on Haunted Hill or Jaws or whatever it was. But what we have seen is communities losing those little movie houses and they have been replaced by multi-screen plexes and mega malls. That's why what happened in Coronado is so interesting. It bucks the trend and here's the story. Here you go, invitation, everybody come please to the grand opening, and looking back, they did. 60 plus years ago, crowded around to get in for their first ever look. Uh, apparently it was quite the deal. The whole town came to a standstill and everybody lined up to get into the Village Theater. The Village Theater, for generations of Coronado kids like Joe Dittler, it was the place to go. I can remember riding up here as a kid on my Stingray bike, you know, and everybody would to look at the marquee to see what was playing and then to race home and try to get the money out of mom and dad. Really, over decades you could see romantic old black and white movies, film festivals, you name it, it was great. And then in the 90s, the village shut down, closed for a long time. I have not been in here for 10 years. It was a mess, must have seemed hopeless. But you look at it today and the transition has really been incredible. It's a kind of an Art Deco movie palace now, three theaters in one building, but the thing is, the startlingly pretty hand-painted walls and backlit star-studded nighttime San Diego scenes that would make any scenic designer or film director jealous. I mean, I think I'd better come and sit and watch the walls than any movie that's currently playing. <laughs> for Joe and other Coronado kids grown up now, they may not have been around for opening day, but they've seen something really special happen to a once down and out place in their town it's been reborn, and that makes for a happy ending to this story about San Diego. In the wall artwork you saw there, you might have seen it, there is the name Musil. That's a tribute to the late Joseph Musil, a theater designer who had a strong influence in the transformation of the Village Theater. He is remembered even as the Village Theater finds new life in part because of him. Okay, let's take a look at some of the things you have sent 